Okay, what you're going to learn in this tutorial is how to make an infinite scrolling background as you see here. You're going to learn how to animate the player so it animates as it goes up and down. You're also going to learn how to make a particle system that moves along with the player as it moves around. You can get the sprites for the player by going to littleguycgi.com. You'll just, uh, on the site, go to Game Visuals by clicking on this link. Scroll down, click on Game Assets. Scroll down and then you can just click on uh, where you see Vehicles and Mechs. Uh, these sprites will be provided to you free of charge. You'll just click on here and uh, you'll be taken to a place where you can download these sprites. Okay, so we'll click here. We'll change this to capital L, E, F, T. We'll select left. Just left click here just to deselect. I'm going to click OK. Uh, we'll left click here. Scroll down. We'll select simulate left key press. We'll then click OK. Double click here. Quotation. Oh. Quotation. Quotation. So we put in you know, quotation, idle, quotation. So with that uh, idle, uh, our animation name change to idle, we'll click OK. Okay, so let's click the preview button and try this out. So we push down, we rotate down, we push up, we rotate up. So we can go forward as well as back. Okay. I'm going to click the X button to get out of that preview window. Okay, we're going to set things up so that when we're not pressing up or down that uh, the animation goes back to the idle pose. So I'm going to left click here. So instead of clicking the whole entire event, I'm just clicking right here. I'm going to right click, select copy, click here, hover over this add condition, right over the add condition. I'm going to paste so I just pasted the up key instead of the whole event like we previously did I'm gonna double click here and then I'm gonna leave this at up but see this invert condition I'm gonna left click here so when we want this condition to be when the up key is not pressed for something to happen okay and what we want to happen is for this to be set to the uh, idle pose so I'm gonna go here right click select copy go right over this add action add action right click select paste so now we have this set animation of player to idle so well this is fairly easy to do so we'll click here we'll click this add new event button with this whole event highlighted you can see because the uh, blue is uh outlining the whole thing we'll right click select copy left click here then right click select paste so now we have this whole event copied to here okay with that done we'll double click here we'll change this to down we'll then click OK And I'm th now that I'm thinking about this, uh, I'm going to double click here and I'm just going to change this to key released and I'm going to take away the invert condition. I think this is a better setup. So we'll select key released, take away the invert condition. So now let's click the preview button see if this works. So we'll click up when we let go. That goes right back to the idle pose, which is what we want. Looks 
understood. So I'm going to click the X button to get out of that preview window. Okay, let's add some exhaust for our player. So we're going to go to new scene. We're going to go to this plus button to the right. We're going to click that. We're going to go to particles emitter. Left click there. These are going to be the colors for our exhaust. We're going to click here. We're going to change this to this blue color. So that's interesting. Okay. I had to click this blue color to get that to uh, go away. Okay. Uh, with this setup as it is, we're going to click apply. I'm going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom in. Okay, we're going to left click on the new object. I'm going to double click here. I'm going to change the name to exhaust. I'm then going to click apply. Okay, I'm going to go to exhaust. I'm going to left click on exhaust, left click and drag this onto the screen. I'm then going to click the preview button so we can see what this does. So there's the exhaust right there. I'm going to close the preview uh, window. I'm going to double click on exhaust. Let's increase the size. So the size is here, this particle size start. So we'll change this to 200. We want the exhaust not to be aim to the right but to be aimed to the left so we when we look at this maximum force as well as the minimum force we can put a minus symbol in front of these this should have the exhaust change direction and then for the cone uh, let's change this to 25 so we'll click apply, we'll click the preview window, so we can now see the exhaust is coming back instead of forward, and that's what we want. Okay, what we need to do now is have this exhaust move, move with our player. So what we need to do is we're going to left click on the player, I'm going to double click on the player now. We're going to look to the bottom of this menu here. We're going to select edit points. In here we can see we have an origin point as well as a center point already. We're going to look to the right. We're going to click this plus button here to make a new point. This point I'm going to put an E in front of it standing for exhaust point. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to left click here and then put in 9-0. I'm going to left click here, put in 9-0. The only reason why I'm putting these points in here was to move this uh, point that we just made to a place where we could see it easily. I can see it right there. So now that we can see it here, we're going to left click, drag this down. You can see when I drag this point down, these numbers here change. So I'm going to move this point to about here. And then with that done, now I'm going to click close and then I'm going to click apply. Okay, now we need to program this exhaust to move to the point that we just made. So we're going to click on New Scene Events. We want this uh, action that we're about to add to, uh, to add to happen all the time. So we're going to leave the Add Condition blank. We're going to select Add Action. Go to Common Actions for All Objects. Go to Position. We're going to select Position of an Object. The uh, Where we see this Change the Position of an Object, that object that's mentioned here is our exhaust. For the Modification Sign, we're going to select equal for the X position we're going to click on the blue button scroll all the way to the top select common expressions for all objects select position scroll down select X position then we're going to left click here and then select player we're then going to select apply for this here we're going to select equals for the Y position we're going to click the blue button we're going to scroll all the way to the top go to common expressions for all objects select position Scroll down, select Y position. For the object, we're going to click here, then select Player, then Apply, then we'll select OK. Okay, so we still have more work to do here. 
we're going to double click here to go back in for right before the X uh, after the period. We're going to click here. We're going to hold shift. We're going to put in capital P I O N T. So point. And then here we're going to in between these parentheses. That's what I mean when I say here, we're going to enter in quotation E capital P and then uh, the rest of the word, you know, for point. We're going to put quotation in there. We're going to do the same thing here. Capital P, I O I N T. We're going to click here. Quotation E, capital P, I O N T, quotation. Then we're going to click OK. OK, with that done, we should be able to click on our preview button. So now we see that as we move our player around, the exhaust follows with our player. Looks good. Okay, I'm going to click on new scene. So be aware that currently the uh, exhaust is behind the player. So when I click on the exhaust, see this Z order three. And when I click on the player, see the Z order four. The closer you get to one as far as the Z, Z order, the more you go into the background. So because this exhaust is three, this is behind the player. If you wanted to move this in front of the player, you could move this to, to five since the player is four. Just wanted you to be aware of that. Okay, so now you know how to make an infinite scrolling background. You know how to add animation frames to the player as far as having the player move up, down, uh, forward, and back. You also know how to... Uh, make a particle system and then have that particle system move along with your player. Okay guys, that's it for the tutorial. For all of those of you out there who like the videos on this channel and reshare them, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And for those of you who are new to this channel, if you like the videos on this channel and you would like to see more, please subscribe and thank you for viewing.